very good morning children welcome back hope all are fine and safe did you all do your homework good can anyone tell me what was the topic that we discussed in the previous class Yes. Review a story and make predictions about it. Correct. We found so many clues. We guessed about the story. Almost we were near, right? And we found a boy named the Chakravarti, who was a detective. Almost we found everything correct. right yes before we start the story let me ask you one question how do you know that a person is kind generous or mean mean means bad rude how do you know that a person is kind somebody say correctly by their talk by their act correct exactly you're correct we will find a person is kind generous or mean by their action or by their speech you're correct today's aim is we are going to make inferences about the traits of a character using evidence what were we have inferences means telling a person this person is kind coming to a conclusion yes that is called inferences let's look at the aim make inferences about the traits of a character using evidence from the story as i said inferences means judging a person or guessing a person is kind or generous what is it about the traits of a character traits means characteristic or you can say it is a quality of a character everyone has different quality few may be hard few may be rude few may be kind few may be generous different quality everyone has correct yes so today we are going to learn how to make inferences about the quality of a person character you all know who are we going to learn about yes before we learn let's go through the keywords keywords are very very important to understand the story better here you have keywords traits as i said quality or characteristic talking about one's nature of character commotion what do you mean by commotion tell me one thing during school days especially during short break or lunch break what will happen 
in this school building. Everyone guessed it correctly. Lot of noise, commotion. Because we'll go out, come in, uh, talking with our friends, discussion. Everything will happen during lunch break or short break. That is called a commotion, noise and confusion. Inferences. Inferences means a conclusion coming to an end, like this person is like this. A conclusion reached on the basis of evidence and reasoning. That is called inferences. Evidence. What do you mean by evidence? It's a very familiar word. Everyone must be knowing about the meaning of this word. Yes, rightly said, true. Budge. What do you mean by budge? Move. Binoculars. Everyone might have seen or might have used also. An instrument to view distant objects. Next one is console. Consoling. When a friend is sad or crying for something else or very upset or very disappointed, will you leave your friend like that? No, you will try to console them, right? You will try to give them some happy news, make them laugh, keep them calm and quiet. Yes, that is called console. Make someone less sad. Criminal. Who commits crime. A lawbreaker, you can say, or offender, you can say, villain. Everyone knows this word very well. We might have seen in a movie, villain and hero, right? Yes, villain will always break the laws, correct? Yes. Criminal means who commits a crime or who breaks the law. It's called criminal. Now, we all learned the keywords. I hope you will remember the keywords and the meaning of the difficult words. Now, we will try to understand what kind of person Chakravarti is. By the way, he thinks, he speaks, acts, and the things he uses. So we are going to try to understand about his quality, nature of that. Okay. Before that, I want to show a chart saying belongings. We have four different columns. In the four different columns are given different words, belongings, Thoughts, words, and actions. Belonging, belongings means nothing but the things what Chakravarti uses. He had hat, magnifying glass, binoculars, atlas, and a notebook. These are the things we found in the previous class. Correct? Yeah, the remaining things we are going to find out in the rest of the story. Now, everyone turn to the first page of the story, Chakravarti Investigates. Please take out your content book. Open the first chapter, Chakravarti Investigates by Saumya. Rajendra. Here, children, before we read, I would like to tell you one thing. Please have pencil with you. As I read, if you find any difficult words, 
please underline if you find any line that is very important please underline and if you want to note down the meanings on the bold letters definitely you can go ahead shall we start children good chakravarti investigates by saumya rajendra chakravarti was the world's youngest detective the world's youngest detective please underline he had a hat he had a magnifying glass he had a pair of binoculars he also had an atlas just in case he had to go to america to help the police there the ones who always wore sunglasses he was the world's youngest detective and he had all these things hat magnifying glass pair of binoculars and he had an atlas why why he had an atlas so yes somebody said correctly he had an atlas to check the route to find out the place and he can note down something also in the atlas that's the main reason he had an atlas also his main intention was to help the american police who always wore sunglasses looking at the picture we already found the clues detectives will have had pair of sunglasses correct now this american police also must be a detective that's why he wants to help him and he was waiting eagerly but chakravarti had no case to solve why do you think so that he had not had any case to solve one reason maybe he was the world's youngest detective correct yes let's see what are the other reasons that he had no case to solve not yet every day he waited by the window hoping some criminals would show up every day without fail he he was waiting by the window hoping some criminal would show up at least one day let me catch a criminal he was waiting every day chakravarti his father would shout go and do your homework but no response he leaves the bother chakravarti his mother would scream come and eat your dinner no response chakravarti his sister would yell scold play football with me no response but chakravarti wouldn't budge he didn't even move from that place and he didn't respond the flat they lived in was on the 6th floor and chakravarti could see the whole of patel street from his window where did they live they lived on the 6th floor and they could see from there the whole of patel street so what was the name of the street patel street i hope you understood the first page of the story let me ask you few questions regarding this page question number 1 what are the things chakravarti had very easy question i know everyone knows the answer also correct a hat magnifying glass a pair of sunglasses binoculars and atlas and notebook also correct to note down few information very good children what would he do with those things use all those things to find clues and guess what would have happened correct yes understood go to the next page look at this picture we have already seen this picture in the previous class and we found the clues also so now it will be easy for you to understand 
and connect this picture with the previous lesson. Today, the street was very crowded. Deepavali was coming and everybody was out shopping. There were shops selling crackers, sweets, clothes, toys, flowers, books and grinders. We all know very well during festival how the street will look, how the areas, your house, your lane will look, will be crowded, will be always chaos, correct? People will be roaming around, buying things for the festival, selling, everything will be happening during festival. That's the reason the street will be always crowded. There are so many shops that you might think that you would never be able to count them. When you go to buy something, we will not count how many shops are there in that particular street, a particular lane, or on the road. First, number one, we don't have that much patience. Number two, number two, we don't want to count because it's not required for us. So we don't care it. Correct. But this guy, Chakravarti, was not like that. But Chakravarti knew there were exactly 67 shops on Patel Street. He had written down all their names and addresses in his notebook. He must be a keen observer. And he might have a lot of patience. He must be a very patient, very, very patiently looking at all the shops and noting down the names and the addresses. Would he catch a pickpocket today? Always there is a question mark. It was his greatest dream to catch one red-handed and hand him over to the inspector. But so far, he had no luck. Please underline this. His greatest dream to catch one red-handed, which means one criminal, and hand him over to the inspector. What do you mean by red-handed? Then and there itself, catching a criminal on the spot. That's called red hand. I hope you all understood this parable. And you all know the story of this parable. So, recollect one thing and remember one thing. The street was crowded because of festival. And there were exactly 67 shops. And he noted down all the names of the shops and addresses also. And what was his greatest dream? His greatest dream to catch one red-handed and hand him over to the inspector. That was his greatest dream. Okay. I hope you understood. Let me ask you a few questions regarding this. Question number one. Why did Chakravarti have a notebook? Yes, we already found clues. We already guessed it. Why did he have a notebook? To know down all the street name and few informations about the red hand or the criminals. And to write down all the clues and the points. Why was the street crowded? Everyone knows the answer. Just now we discussed. The street was crowded because of festival, Deepavali festival. Now, move to the next page. Look at these pictures. In the previous class, we already found the clues and we guessed correctly. Let's see if that is going to help us today or not. He watched a cow slowly making its way past the cars. 
it didn't seem to mind the noise and the dust at all. Yes, you might have seen cows walking on the road. How do they behave? You might have seen on, the, on your way to school or somewhere, you might have seen cows are walking on the road. How will they behave? They don't even bother. They don't even look at you. They just keep walking. Correct? Same thing happening here. It didn't seem to mind the noise and the dust at all. In fact, as Chakravarti watched, the cow even snacked on a banana peel before giving way to a bus. He just snacked. He just ate the banana peel before he, before the cow giving way to a bus. The cow stopped near a small girl who was eating an ice cream. Why was the cow looking at the girl? I asked this question in the previous class itself. Correct? Here you have the answer. Maybe the cow wanted to eat an ice cream or guess what it could be. The girl had wild curly hair and wore a purple frock that was too big for her, but still she wore that. She was eating the ice cream and licking the little bit that dripped down her hands. Yes, we also did all this, correct? Exactly. A sensible girl, thought Chakravarti. Why did he say this word? Underline this. A sensible girl thought Chakravarti. Why did he say this word? Which made him to say this word? That was how he ate his ice cream too. Now you all understood. He's thinking it could be vanilla flavor, said Chakravarti, or it could be fig and honey. It was so difficult to tell even with the binoculars. But he could able to see from the far distance. The girl smiled at the cow. The child is so innocent, correct? That's the reason the girl smiled at the cow. Suddenly, Chakravarti noticed a commotion down the street near the police booth. He focused the binoculars on what was happening. A woman was talking to a policeman. She was waving her hands about as if she was describing something. There were, there were tears falling down her cheeks and the policeman was trying to console her. What had happened? We already discussed this in the previous class. The lady looked so panicked and describing to that policeman something about what she lost. What had happened? Keep guessing. Here you have a few questions. Why was the policeman trying to console that lady? We do not know exactly, but we guessed that lady might have lost something very valuable things which is very important to her that's the reason that might be the reason i'm not telling that is true that might be the reason the policeman was trying to console that lady what could have happened keep guessing you have the answer let's discuss about whatever we learned so far. What things about Chakravarti remind us of a detective? What things about Chakravarti remind us of a detective? Yes, Chakravarti's belongings, thoughts, words, and actions remind us of a detective. Yes, exactly. He had detectives had magnifying glass, pair of binoculars, an atlas. He notes down details in his notebook, looks out of the window all the time, watching the street. 
he thinks about helping the American police who wear sunglasses and the cat criminals. These are the thoughts that remind us of a detective. These are the things, these are the thoughts that remind us of how a detective would act or think or behave or speak. When we try to understand the traits or the quality of a character by looking at his or her thoughts and actions, it is called making inferences about a character. I hope you all understood. What things about the clothes remind us of a detective? His belongings, Thoughts, words, and actions remind us of a detective. And he was eagerly waiting to help that American police who wear always sunglasses and catch crews. Easy? Why do you think detectives wear a hat and sunglasses? What do you think? What is your opinion? Yes, the detectives wear a hat and sunglasses to show their identity. You can easily find out the lawyers, the doctors, the teachers, scientists. How? Yes. They have their own identity. Same thing, even detectives wear a hat and sunglasses to show their identity. What was his greatest dream? Chakravarti's greatest dream to catch one red handed and hand him over to who? The inspector. Exactly. Here you have one more question. How do a character's actions and words in a story help us to make inferences about the character? How do a character's actions and words in a story help us to come to conclusions about the person's character? Yes, this person is correct. How? How will you make inferences? How will you come to a conclusion this person is kind or this person is generous? Here you have the answer. The way a character talks and behaves and the kinds of things he or she uses tell us a lot about the character. Easy, I repeat. How do a character's actions and words in a story help us to make inferences about the character? The way a character talks and behaves and kinds of things he or she uses tell us about a character. Tell us about the character. For example, Chakravarti refused to play with his sister. Why? He didn't want to play football with his sister and he didn't respond to his parents also properly. He didn't respond properly to them. Why? Which made him to do like that? Instead responding, instead playing football with his sister, he would stand at the window watching out for criminals. They tell us that he loved being a detective. He loved the job of a detective. That's the reason he didn't bother to play with his sister or talk to his parents. That's the meaning of this question. Let's give some work to our brain. What other trait? Trait means quality. Can you infer? Can you find? from Chakravarti's 
thoughts, actions, and words. What are the different, what are the other qualities you could find from Chakravarti's thoughts, actions, and words? Number one, Chakravarti was patient. He had counted the number of shops on the street, which must have taken a lot of time. But patiently, he was standing and counting, not only counting, he was noting down all the names of the shops and the addresses of the shops. He would stand at his window and observe everything patiently, which means he loves the job so much. He really liked being a detective. Am I correct? Hope you all understood so far what we learned, what we discussed. First three pages we have done. Please go back and remember what are the points we discussed. Read again, try to understand about the story and learn the key words. Here you have homework again. Take out your workbook, complete page number 12. What will we have learned so far? Only first three pages. The belongings, thoughts, actions of Chakravarti. Recollect once again. Please apply it in this workbook. Remember, do not forget to do your homework. We have one more assignment. Write about any one of your best friend's character traits, which means about your friend's nature of character, quality of your quality of that particular person's character by making inferences on his or her belonging words or actions. Do not forget, please write about any one of your best friend's character traits. That is going to help you a lot to understand this Chakravarti investigate story better. Please remember the points, children. Go home. I want you all to read the story again and again to understand it better. Thank you so much. Take care.